we don't go through a day where there's, you know, they're going to have two or three opportunities to not just make a routine play, but go make a play. And so we're going to continue to just keep feeding them, feeding them, feeding them. But we just need them to understand that, the, you know, the, they're going to be judged ultimately on how many of those they get on productivity and production. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. What's it like having Zed back in the GA room now uh, being one of, one of you guys? We just left the quarterback meeting, and me and Luke Doty were just ripping him about some <laughs> – we were ripping him about some plays in the bowl game. And, so you get to put cream in your coffee? Well, Zev and I got in an argument at the end of the bowl game. We were up, and the game's over, and there's like two minutes. And I said something smart. I was like, well, if Zev goes in there, he's got to make a throw. <laughs> And he, uh, he's just <laughs> ripping me, and I'm ripping him. And the coaches are like, calm down. And I was like, and Zeb's like, y'all calm down. This is how we talk. We're good. And it's, but it's good to get him It's good to get him back. I mean, I think he's going to be a really good coach. I mean, this is his first year now. You know, he should have a year under his belt, but this is his first year. He's trying to get his coaching legs under him, the hours and uh, the things that he has to do to be a coach. But he's going to be an unbelievable uh, ally help, whatever you want to say assistant just dealing with the quarterbacks he was just in that seat just in that room how i communicate how i teach you know i may do so he's already told me a couple times like that kind of screwed me up last year the way we taught that can you change and, and you know i'll change things up so uh you know he's going to be great on the sidelines helping us you know communicate with those guys and it's good to have him back for sure yep what did you learn the most about yourself last season uh, you got to go through a, some that was the toughest thing i've ever went through in my life probably last season and uh, to be honest with you I'm not trying to sound it but I, I was I came out on the other end proud of of who I am proud of the toughness that I don't just talk about it I can do it the things that you know for the last 10 years with coach rule that we talk about the toughness the discipline the accountability like I was able to just you know lay on my laurels and and just keep fighting uh, you know I told some guys the other day like it would have been easy for our players and our coaches last year to throw our hands up and say, we don't have a quarterback, we don't have this, we don't have that. Let's just go recruit for the future. Future's bright, but we didn't. We had uh, we had the toughness every week to go look in the mirror and figure out a way, like put ourselves out there, for a player to put himself out there when everything's going against them and try to win a game. I think it says a lot about the toughness of our coaches and our players. And coming out of the season, that's what I'm more proud of than anything. I, I get all the other stuff, but you got to go through some really hard things early on in the process in order to come out on the other end. And I think we're at least itching that way right now. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's huge. I mean, last year we spent, I think it hurt our quarterbacks last year from a technique standpoint because we were throwing towels, like it was like a towel ball. So you're doing drills and you're simulating throws with a towel. For them to be able to go out there and throw a football and us to be able to be out there and throw routes on there and get the timing and the coaching, uh, I think that, that speeds up at least the passing game just from a timing and spacing standpoint. I mean, these kids have had an unbelievable summer. And uh, to be able to get out there with a ball, you know, we can't do 11 on 11 or anything like that. We can't be out there in 7 on 7, but just to get the specific work with the running backs, tight ends, receivers, and the quarterbacks, uh, I think it's going to pay great dividends for us. Awesome.